Hey everyone, welcome to our DC News, the weekly show that updates you on all the DC news from the past seven days. Now we have DC Studios in charge, there seems to be more organization being formed, and I believe one streamlined web series that informs you on all DC updates is the most beneficial way of keeping us up to date with the DC Universe. We will be talking the DCU and Elseworld stories like the Batman or Superman and Lois. But don't worry, the Road to Superman web series will continue as usual, but any Superman updates will be briefly mentioned in the Our DC News series, but expanded upon in the Road to Superman series. But now let's get on with the first episode, which will be quite a short one just to get the ball rolling. So we start off with Booster Gold. According to ProductionList.com, Booster Gold will be going into production on July 8th this year, so less than two months away. But James Gunn has actually commented on the Booster Gold rumor and said, although we're still working on Booster Gold, production isn't imminent and that story slash posting is completely false. So we are probably not getting a Booster Gold show for quite a while. I imagine it will most likely go into production closer to the end of this year or next year. There is no confirmed director or writer and no casting has been confirmed, but Chris Pratt did mention he will 100% be coming to the DCU. When asked if he'll play Star-Lord again next, or appear in James Gunn's DCU next, Chris said, I think it's 100% both. So we will be seeing Chris Pratt in the DCU at some point, and that has caused many to speculate that it could potentially be for Booster Gold. Would you want him in that role? And if not, who do you think Chris Pratt will play in the DCU? Now let's move on to some Kryptonian news. Firstly, the CW has confirmed that the final season of Superman and Lois shall be coming to our screens this autumn every Thursday. Now, I loved all three seasons and I am very excited to see how the story ends. But let's cross universes and talk about Superman's cousin. The DCU's Supergirl has its release date. Deadline have reported that the film shall hit cinemas on June 26th, 2026, so 11 months after James Gunn. Superman. And speaking of James Gunn, he did confirm this news on his Instagram account. The article also confirms that Craig Gillespie will be directing, Millie Alcock will be starring, and Anna Naguera shall be writing. Just like with the Superman movie, the director, writer, and star of the film were announced almost two years before the movie is set to be released. Which is actually a normal process for films, and with Supergirl releasing in June 2026, I assume they will most likely begin production in February of next year, meaning they will basically have the rest of this year to get everything prepared for filming. But now let's move over to another Elseworlds story. The spin-off show to the Batman called The Penguin is set to be released in late 2024, and a trainer has confirmed that Mark Strong will be in the show. Strong was in the DCEU as Savannah in Shazam 1 and 2, but apparently he is now heading to another Another, much darker section of DC. We don't currently know who Mark will be playing, but let me know your predictions in the comments below. The final update is that James Gunn has confirmed the actors for Martha and Jonathan Kent in his new Superman movie. Happy anniversary to my favorite Kansas farmers, Ma and Pa Kent, who will be played by Pruitt Taylor Vince, an actor I've wanted to work with since I saw him in James Mangold's Heavy in 1990 and the delightful Neva Howell. The movie will not be an origin story, which I assume would mean that Jonathan Kent won't die of a heart attack and will be alive in the present day. Now that is all for today's first episode of Our DC News. I realized that most of the videos on the channel has either been Rebel Moon or Road to Superman videos, and the rest of the DCU has kind of been left out. Admittedly, it's only been recent that other DC projects have had news to talk about, but I think now is an appropriate time to create a web series dedicated to keeping us all up to date with DC Studios activities. Now the web series can work in two ways. Either I just do weekly updates on a Monday that release at 3pm UK time like today's video that rounds up the last 7 days of news, or I just create episodes whenever news comes out. Personally I like the order that releasing episodes every Monday gives you, but it's honestly up 
to you guys. So let me know your recommendations in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of our DC News. Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. I hope to see you here again next episode. So until then, I hope you have a great week. Bye.